Hey guys, yes, AI race is still on. Google said once Gemini, you won't believe what it can do. Imagine an AI that can write your next viral song, translate your awkward Tinder messages into smooth French language, or generate image for you and even code the app of your dreams. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, Google's advanced Gemini is making it reality. Remember that AI revolution we have all been talking about? Well, it's officially happening with Gemini. But what makes it so different from all the other AI assistants out there? Let's find that out. If you're new here, I'm a mentor in the field of AI and machine learning. Started my journey over 12 years as a mentor and helped thousands of corporates learn and implement multiple technologies from Java to DevOps to Python to data science and now also to AI. I'm going to show you practically how I'm using Google's Gemini, which they're calling it as Advanced Gemini or Ultra 1.0. I'm using Gemini to generate real-time images, describe awkward images, compose a song and even write a blog and also write a code to create a game. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI, this side Asif Imnath. Gemini Advance isn't just smarter, it's designed truly to understand and collaborate with you. Do you want to learn a new skill? Do you want to break down a complex information or even generate out of the box ideas? It's got you covered everything. Gemini Advance isn't just smarter, it's getting updated constantly. In 2024, you have got updates like ultra deep understanding. You can ask incredibly complex questions. It's like having an encyclopedia that thinks for itself. It has multi-model mastery. You don't have to keep jumping between the different tools. Gemini helps you create and edit not just the text, but the images, videos, you just name it. It provides you hyper-personalization. Gemini learns your style and preferences. It tailors responses like a close collaborator. But this is where it gets really crazy. Gemini Advance isn't just limited to text. It can generate images, compose music. The possibilities are honestly unbelievable. Let me show you how I'm using Google's Advanced Gemini. I'm on the link here, gemini.google.com. Officially, Bard is now Gemini. So you can go to gemini.google.com and click on Try Gemini Advanced. You can see here, Gemini Advanced get access to Google's most capable AI, which is 1.0 Ultra. For Gemini Pro, you don't have to pay anything or you don't have to register as such. But yes, for Advanced Gemini, it is the most capable AI model that we are gonna see now. This is what I subscribed to already. You can just click on this and start the trial here. As I've already subscribed, so I'm not gonna subscribe again. It is just a simple sign in and you have to put your credit card details. The first transaction will happen after two months. So I'm just gonna cancel this. I have already subscribed to this. So let me show you after logging to my different account. Here I am, you can see I'm on to Gemini Advanced and you also have a Gemini, right? So we have subscribed to the advanced version, which can help you generate images, write HTML, CSS, or even a code or solve the problem, write a blog, generate a music, so on and so forth. Hold your breath. Let me show you some of these features. I have purchased premium version for you to show how it works, which I tried and spent hours and hours to understand how it really works. And is it really better than even the chat GPT-4? We will see in next couple of minutes. So be with me. Make sure you watch this video till the end. First, let me start with the image generation. So I'm going to give a simple prompt here. I can just type generate image of humorous dog teasing cat or let me just ask Gemini using microphone. Let me allow microphone generate image of a humorous dog teasing cat. Let's hit enter. Let's see. Whoa, I actually got stunned with the responses. You can see AI is really generating stunning images. Beautiful, right? If I want, I can generate more just by clicking on generate more. Okay, I got one more image. This looks really nice. Let me generate more images by asking Google Gemini. Generate image of an ant riding giant elephant. Let's see what responses I get here. Wow, this is really beautiful. You can see AI is generating really beautiful images. Amazing, right? This is what new Google's advanced Gemini provides you. So it's not only about the text, it can also generate images. So you don't have to switch between the different tools, right? Definitely I have more options here. I can share this with my friends and create a public link so that they can see it. 
I can also export this to documents. I can draft this in Gmail. I can download all these images and use as a copyright free images wherever I want. Beautiful, right? Okay, before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating these videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. Now let's ask Gemini to compose some music. Okay, I'm gonna ask Gemini to create a upbeat rock music, maybe a soft rock music. Let me just copy and paste the prompt which I have used before. Compose original upbeat soft rock music for a rock band. Here is the structure of an upbeat soft rock song. Instrumentation, bright electric guitar. And I, I have also got the song structure here, verse 1 and the chorus and the verse 2, so on and so forth. The song is written something like this, the past is in the rear view, fading fast, those good old days they never last, but there is a flicker up ahead, I see a spark, a brighter road, a brand new start. You can see a rhythm and it is actually creating a original lyrics song for you. Beautiful, right? And every time it is generating new responses. Last time when I have used this prompt to generate a music, it gave me some different lyrics but this time this is again different beautiful so one thing i can definitely say that ai is getting really creative and it can help me save tenfold of my time i can also double check my responses you can see here by clicking on this google icon so this will search on google and provide me some more responses i can do the related search if i want i can also modify responses if i want the shorter response i can simply click on this if you have not seen detailed video to work with gemini you can refer to our previous video where we have tried all the features of gemini right so here i can modify the responses as per my need longer simple casual professional right we tried all of these before and i can share i can like i can dislike i can provide responses to ai to give me better responses which are personalized for me now let me try something challenging let me put the prompt here write me a code to create a game like minicraft okay i see here is how you can get started on making games like minicraft it is not able to generate the code it just gave you the guideline what tools you can use what is the game engine that can be used what are the main focus areas core mechanics that you have to work on all of that is given here let's ask gemini to create a tiktok toy game using python maybe i'm asking show me how tic-tac-toe game is played with images so that I understand how to play it and also write me a code to create a tic-tac-toe game. By the way, I'm gonna give you all these prompts in the description so you can try these prompts on your own. Right, how to play tic-tac-toe game? This is what it says, the greed, the three by three matrix, the cross and the O, this is how you can play the tic-tac-toe game, right? When there will be a tie, how do you decide the winner and the loser, so on and so forth. And beautiful thing is you can see a Python example, a Python code here. Isn't it amazing? I was really surprised by looking at this. And the good thing is I can run this code directly. Okay, I'm getting some error here, but doesn't matter. This may not be the complete code. It says rest of the game logic we will have to write. But you can see I can run the code. I can edit the code. I can copy this code and paste it in your ID and modify this code. Beautiful. And it also gives you some references from where it has referred this code, right? Okay, let's say I'm a developer. Now I want help to understand the code. Let's say I'm new to learn machine learning and I want to understand Python implementation of iris flower classification. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna copy paste the most famous machine learning data set, which is iris flower classification problem, right? Let me search for the Python file. I have got one of the repository here. I just need this Python file. So I will just go to iris.py and let's just try this. We'll copy paste this code and ask Gemini to explain me this code. Okay. So let's say I don't understand any of this and we'll ask Gemini to explain. Let's see how it goes. Let me type explain me this code and in double quotes, I'm going to paste the complete code. Let's hit submit amazing you can see it's a big file it's a python file and uh, there are no documentation but still i am getting some responses right from gemini it says what are the libraries used numpy panda seaborn matplotlib sklearn right and it also gives you some description why numpy is used for numerical data why pandas is used right for data manipulation for data frames amazing and also it gives a step-by-step -step explanation loading the data set 
missing values data overview data visualization how they are doing data visualization by using boolean plot scatter plot so on and so forth splitting the data creating the features and labels so on and so forth okay. we have already created tons of videos on iris data classification if you want to learn that please visit our machine learning playlist in detail with demo with hands on we have already created tons of videos on that now let me challenge google's gemini and let's check how smart google's new advanced gemini is the prompt that i'm going to use is to explain me some of the confusing images i have downloaded some of the images from google and these images are the most confusing images which people have searched for or looked for or most discussed images for that matter right so you can see these images these images are confusing even for humans it is difficult to understand right so i'm going to give these images to gemini and ask him explain me these images okay let's try that out and put the prompt explain me this why this image looks so confusing this is the image let's see what response it gives okay it's saying i don't have enough information let me try again you see that it's learning and becoming better now i see some responses i can see image you sent it it appears to be a painting of staircase which is not really true but yes i got some responses that means as gemini is not trained on such confusing images right it is difficult for us and definitely it will be difficult for gemini also to understand impossible geometry lack of visual cues limited viewing angles artistic intent so on and so forth right so let me try with a different image now. now and again the prompt i'm going to use explain me this why this image looks so confusing this is the image that i have provided let's see what response i get here okay i'm getting some responses ambiguous perspective similarity in the appearance tell deception partial conclusion depth perception cues right so the way the photo is taken you can see the strong depth such as shadow overlapping objects so if you observe the image you can see the image is pretty confusing right there are two dogs there is a smaller dog and the bigger dog and under the tail of the bigger dog you see this small puppy here right and that's why this image is confusing and why it is confusing this is the explanation that i have got here that is tell deception beautiful let me try one more you see that there are three giraffes in this image the way they are standing because of which it gives me optical illusion and difficult for me to understand this image right and i'm going to provide the same prompt saying explain me this why this image looks so confusing let's see what is the response i get here okay previously i got the response it cannot process this image but this time i am getting some response here similar marking and colors unusual poses and gestures you see this this is what i said right because the way those giraffes are standing because of which it looks confusing lack of background context cognitive ambiguity so on and so forth all right and that's why i'm saying google's advanced gemini is going to be your uh, intelligent collaborative partner whatever task you do if you're in the creative field if you're a doctor if you're an engineer it's going to help everyone the future is being built by people who understand and harness tools like gemini advanced so what are you waiting for are you going to let this change pass by you or are you going to be a part of it be one of the first to try it subscribe for more updates and more interesting videos like this let me know what crazy ideas you have for Gemini advanced in the comments below let's get this trending and that's how we come to an end of this video if you have any questions regarding the same let us know in the comment below if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues thanks for watching see you again next time till then take care and bye bye